has already out, been out for hours. Who knows what they've already catched? Need to be quick. You're not just late, you're really, really, really late. Come on. Open those eyes. Come on. Please just open your eyes. There we go, finally. You're really, really, really late. Please get ready, we need to go hunting. You don't want to hunt. Or you want to be a wolfling, don't you? No? Or you want to survive in the forest then, don't you? Well, if you want to live, you're gonna have to learn how to hunt, okay? So you get out of your bed right now and get ready. Come on, faster. We don't have all day. There won't be anything left for us in the forest after you're done. Okay, you're ready now, let's go. See? This is nice, right? Being out in the forest. Feeling some slight sunbeams coming down from above. While the rest of the sun is being shaded by the trees. Hearing all little kinds of birds. And little things that walk around very fast. They aren't good prey. There's still little meat on them, sadly enough. It's the same with the birds. They won't feed a real wolfling. So we hunt for the bigger things, like deers. Oh, those big things. I keep forgetting their name, but oh well. They taste delicious, that's for sure. How do you like it so far, Manling? You don't like it? I don't believe you. How could someone not enjoy this beautiful forest? Haven't you seen? Haven't you smelled? Haven't you heard? This place is amazing. There's no place like it. Then again, I've never seen your stone cities, as you call them. I would like to someday, but... I've heard some terrible stories about your kind. Would you ever hurt me, Manling? I'm glad. But I did hear stories about your kind hurting my kind of people. Hunting us, even. Has this ever happened in your village with your tribe? Has your tribe ever hunted for werewolves or wolflings? They have. Did they ever catch anyone? I'm glad they didn't catch anyone at least. That gives me some comfort. Did you help with this hunt, Manling? You didn't. That makes me happy. Do you hate me, Manling? For taking you away from, you know, wherever you were running away from or whatever you were running towards? I... I was kind of afraid that you would die, so... Well... I didn't want you to die, of course. That's why I took you with me, but... You know... I don't want you to be at a place that you don't want to be at. So if you want to leave right now... You can. I mean... I might have over-exaggerated how dangerous the forest really can be, but... I mean, it can still be very dangerous, it's just that I did add a little bit of drama to the story. Well, even though I have my family and my tribe, it's, well, it's still being a wolfling, still kind of, well, it's a lonely life. Even though we hunt together and, well, we eat together and all that, there's still a certain competitive nature to our being. Something I don't really like. There's always a competition, a competition about everything. Even when we play, there's always got to be one guy or one girl that's the boss. I always has to be one alpha. I don't really like that. I just want friendship. I just want to care for anyone without 
having to be worried about them being the dominant one, without having to show, or having to be worried about a show weakness. I just, yeah, I don't really know how to say it. It's, um, yeah, I hope you understand. I'm sorry I don't know the right words. Anyways, why did you run away from your fa from your village again? I keep forgetting your story. Was there anything else in the story you haven't mentioned yet? I see. Oh. Oh. That is sad. I am really sorry to hear that. Well, if you don't really hate me for taking you away from, well, wherever you were heading, if you were heading anywhere, you can always stay with me. Even if you don't want to be a wolfling, that is. You know, it's still nice having someone around. Someone you can just talk to like this. And believe me, none of the wolflings like doing this. I've tried. But they're always, you know, busy, active, hunting or playing. There's no end to it, early enough. <laughs> Not that it's bad, of course, but, you know, as I said, it's nice having someone else around from time to time. Oh, longer, of course. I don't mind. Anyway, let's get back to hunting. Can I ask you a question? I have heard from stories that, well, humans hunt with wood and stone. Why don't you use your claws? Oh wait, I forgot. You don't have claws, do you? I'm sorry, didn't mean to offend you. But how do you do it, though? How do you hunt without, well, your body? You use weapons. Weapons. Like claws, pretty much, then. And like your teeth. But without using your teeth and your claws. I am very confused right now. So, you do use stones and sticks to hunt. I see. But... Hmm. Okay. Could you show me how you do it? I'm kind of curious about seeing it. I still don't completely understand it, but I'd love to see you try. Okay, take your time. I don't, I'm not in a rush. It's like most of the big deers and big things have already been hunted away. So we can only hunt for the little things, I guess. Sadly enough. Oh well, you can't always have what you want. I'll take your time, take your time. What are you doing with that rock? I see. Well, not really, but, you know. I'll see what you're doing and maybe I'll understand it then. Hmm? Okay. So... You sharpen the stick. Okay, so it becomes sharp like teeth. Do you use that to hunt then? The sharp stick? Oh wait, I see. That might actually work. That's very smart. Huh. I never thought of that. And what do you use the rock for? You throw it. Well, I mean, for the bigger, f for the smaller things it might work. I don't think it will work on the bigger things, though. Oh well, we're only hunting for the small things now, so it should be fine. Do you want to try to catch something? Well, I am kind of getting hungry, so <laughs> I really wouldn't mind. Oh. I hear a little thing running around. Do you see it over there? Yes. I'll let you take this one. Very nice. That was really quick. I'm impressed. You almost killed it like a wolfling. At least, the same speed. Hmm, 
smells delicious though. Uh, shall we eat it? So, tell me again, why are you burning the meat? Uh, okay. Human things are crazy, strange things. Ruining a good piece of meat like that. Oh well. It's not my problem. I have my own little piece of meat. And I'll eat it just the way I like it. Nice and raw. Oh, there's no sweeter taste than the blood that sups out of the meat. I shall eat it. It's delicious. But oh well, if you like it that way, then you should do it like that. Mmm, delicious. Today was fun. I do hope we can do it tomorrow, again tomorrow. Or maybe we can do something else tomorrow if you want. That is, if you want to stay, of course. You know you can always leave. You want to stay? That makes me really, really happy. Uh, I hope you stay for a very long time. I have been really enjoying your company. <laughs> yeah. I have a crazy idea, right? What if we sleep outside of the cave today? I mean, it is nice and warm outside, even though the moon is setting. How about we just stay here right now and just look at the beautiful sky? And afterwards, you know, just cuddle up together to keep ourselves warm if it gets too cold. And then, well, we'll see what we do tomorrow. Tomorrow. You know, there's no need to worry about it today. Right? Yeah. <sighs> I really had a lot of fun today, Manling. And I'm really curious what tomorrow will bring for us. I can't wait to find out. Well, sweet dreams, Manling. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>